for the last two years, the Korean BLs are steadily making noise in the BL industry because of the gorgeous actors and unique plots in its story. Korean BLs are known for having short series but it does not mean that it's not as enjoyable as other BLs from different countries. In this video, I'll be doing a ranking of my most favorite Korean BLs and also an update with regards to the list of upcoming Korean BLs for 2022. If you were to be asked, what are your favorite Korean BLs as of the moment, share it on the comment section below. Before that, some of these shows might not be available in your country due to geo-blocked restriction. If that's the case, then you might want to sign up to ExpressVPN so you can unlock these geo-blocked Korean BL dramas. Use the link on the description below to have 49% discount plus an additional 3 months free of usage if you opt to avail the 12 month plan. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Number 10, My Sweet Dear. This Korean BL was released on the fourth quarter of last year although I only got binge watched it just recently. To be honest, I kinda quite like the first four episodes of the series but the remaining four felt disconnected on the whole story. The sudden change of Yoon Do Gun's character towards Young Woo felt rushed and I was amazed that they had already fallen in love with one another within a short amount of time. That's probably due to the short number of episodes but I guess the build up could have done a little bit better. The chemistry of the main leads was kinda okay but I wasn't invested that much on their relationship. Overall, My Sweet Dear had a lot of potential with its chosen plot but fell short on the execution. Number 9, Mr. Heart. It's been over a year since the last time I have watched this BL but I still remember most of its scenes. The main plot of this BL was all light and cute but it's good to see that the main characters have background stories for their own development. If there's only thing that I could critique on this one, that would be the conflict between Sang Ha and the Lone Shark firm. Throughout the series, I never felt the threat of their image against on our main leads and that affected me to feel the climax of this BL. Overall, the plot was good and the chemistry of the main leads was also one of the best of its time. Number 8, Wish You. Music is one of my favorite things in the world and that was one of the reasons why I watched Wish You. To be honest, the series version of this Korean BL wasn't that good and like its movie version that felt more connected, probably due to the editing on its scenes. Another thing, I actually wanted more from its ending and I thought that it wasn't enough to wrap up the whole story. Although the storyline wasn't that strong compared to some on this list, the idea of its plot was actually one of the best in Korean BLs. Number 7, Color Rush. With a season 2 just around the corner, I'm pretty sure that some of you are watching the first season all over again. When I first watched this BL, I thought that the plot was unique and it had a lot of potential if it was done right. Unfortunately, I wasn't that satisfied with its outcome although it left a room for a second season, and it did happen. Sadly, one of the main characters won't be appearing on the new season and this could lead to a whole new story of this BL. Number 6, Tinted With You. I just binge watched this BL after it finished airing and I could say that I really like its theme. The combination of history and fantasy into one is a one of a kind BL and I wish that this series had longer episodes. The story was nice but the execution felt lacking in some areas especially when it comes to the characters and some background stories of main leads. Another thing, I was actually rooting for Yuno and Yon to be together but the love of Goom for the crown prince was so strong that I almost fell for second lead syndrome. It's actually pretty interesting if there would be another season that would focus on the consequences of them changing the past. Overall, Tinted With You is a good start for a Korean BL in 2022. Number 5, 
Number 5. Peach of Time. I actually watched this before when it was airing but I dropped it for no apparent reason. Luckily, I was able to binge watch this Korean Thai BL last week and I could say that it's a good BL but had imperfections with it. The first thing that I noticed in this one was the use of two languages. It was actually shocking at first but as the episodes went by, it already felt natural. Next, I was actually bothered when Peach was talking with you know while someone was there next to them. Anyway, I can say that the story was also good but it will surely leave us a heavy heart after watching it. Number 4, Where Your Eyes Linger. Since this series is my first ever Korean BL that I have watched, it still holds as one of my favorite BLs of all time. Although it's quite short, the development of their characters wasn't much of a big deal and the main lead showered us with their great chemistry. The plot was not perfect but it gave us a different flavor of BL when it first aired. Overall, Where Your Eyes Linger has already withstood the test of time. Number 3, You Make Me Dance. When I first watched this BL, I thought that it would be like any other Korean BLs that had short episodes with random plot and call it a day, but it surpassed my expectations on it and it was one of the most beautiful Korean BLs I have seen as of now. The chemistry of the main leads was there and everything was good on its own right. I just hope that we could have seen the background story of Shion on why his mother left him after her wedding with another man. Nevertheless, you Make Me Dance is easily a recommendable series and movie. Number 2, To My Star. It's no surprise that To My Star would end up in my second spot of this list since it was my top 9 for my overall ranking of BLs for 2021. To my star wasn't actually extraordinary but it served all the basics and done everything right. The chemistry was there and the progression of the story was also present. I'm just currently waiting for the second season of this series to air sometime this year. Number 1. Light on me. Since this BL was already my top favorite BL for 2021, it's just right to have Light On Me as my most favorite Korean BL as of now. This BL was actually a little bit different compared to everything in this list since it was longer. The chemistry of the characters was also one of the best I have seen and its story was just like that makes it easily recommendable for everyone. I just hope that we could have another season of this Korean BL sometime soon. Korean BLs might be known by a lot of fans by now, they are even more aggressive in 2022 by releasing a lot of series. Here are some of Korean BLs that we can expect sometime this year. Color Rush Season 2, Kissable Lips, First Love Again, Cherry Blossoms After Winter, Semantic Error, To My Star Season 2, and so much more. Since Korean BLs are mostly shorter compared to other BLs, it's easier to binge watch those titles all at once. I'm just hoping that Korean BLs would be more creative and open in order to fully maximize those amazing plots. What Korean BLs are your most favorite? Thank you for watching. That's it and see you on the next one.